Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play video of Lake. We are heading into the weekend in game, so we're gonna have the karaoke night and a few other little events and a lot of cutscenes coming up. So let's see how how we go. Got lots of mail, it looks like. Like a lot, a lot of mail. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous too. You'll need your raincoat all day long and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Back to the music. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. I don't think I would have won, really. I would have loved that. It's okay, I take pictures for myself. Not doing cutsness. I would really? like that. Really? I would have loved that. Eh, you can probably only win contests like those if you're a professional. True. I like to think that talented casual photographers also have a decent chance. Yeah, but I'd equipment like to is think expensive too. But photographers also have a decent chance. Well, one can always dream. I just realized she has purple like mascara. Mascara eyeliner. Something. Go up here. Deliver all this mail. Two oh seven. Two oh seven. I think it's 302. Sound of rain is so peaceful. Here's your mail. Ooh, a cute house. I like it. Imagine ha sitting up with that round window, just with like a little reading nook or something. That would be nice. Alright, we're gonna go to the right because there's a lot more there and then yeah. Oh, it's a package. Vintage street. That's lighter than I thought. Am I going to the mailbox? I got a knock on the door. There's a doorbell. Oh. 
I was getting ready for a cutscene. Two cars and a garage? I wonder if the garage is full. Or if they're a three car family. Big envelope. College acceptance letter? Question mark. Okay. Down into the woods. Right. Here. Oh, no. Different person. This one's not beat up either. I think, Here's I wonder if by the end we will have uh, delivered to pretty much every home. I'm sure, sure I have. I'm sure. Check with that Yui. Package for the diner or the hotel? Hotel. Hotel. Alright. Oh, my lights are on. That's a first. Oh, it's rain is getting heavier. Oh, is that lightning? Oh no. It was a dark and stormy night. I'm busy. Okay. Good luck. No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. <laughs> he I admitted it finally. Absolutely horrible. I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. <laughs> Good luck with that. Indeed. Sounds like he's playing like Space Invaders or something. Oh, such heavy rain. Whoa, look over there. What what's lit up? Is that just the town? What the? What is that? At least they get, you know, they don't have to water their crops. That's nice. Mayo! I'm gonna get struck by lightning at this rate. Holy smokes. Okay, fellow Providence Okeans, it's time once again you have the for door the open? And Crazy. So loud. Hey, foe. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame. Enjoy some well performances and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe even some dancing. 
you know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, <laughs> folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. No bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. Uh, bye, Jack. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Mail truck noise? Do you hear this rain? Why are you worried about mail truck noise? It's so loud. Ooh, hold it up. First day it's been this dark. I don't know what time it is in the game, but it's definitely not night time. And so ends a week full of turmoil. Are you happy it's over? Only the angels had lost the white sauce. That would have made it perfect. How much would you have won? Eight hundred seventy-six dollars and thirty-four cents. <laughs> thirty-four cents. Would have been a nice payday, huh? Okay. Playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Frank, but I know I what don't sport care about sports or gambling. Uh, Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it, or I'll try at least. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh wait, this was your last day. It is. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Uh. Okay, so the decision is between a partner at our tech firm, which we love, but we already have stupid crazy hours, or returning home, being like more comfy, having more f like social life, probably less pay. Karma. Might have to buy our parents' house because they're moving. We don't know. But we do have the there for a month until we fi figure it out. Or a partnership where we can we'll have to have probably longer hours a little less social stuff but we can have more nice things Ugh. like quality of life or money which also can cause quality of life <laughs> i don't know are you serious of course and it's a great job you know what think about it and let me know monday morning when you return your stuff i gotta run now Red Sox are playing the Yankees. It's a much calmer life. Saturday evening is still so loud. Oh. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... I take this personally, but I'm glad it's over. It was okay, a nice change of scenery. It nice was okay. change, yeah. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. It seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. I'm afraid that would be a bit too monotonous. Monotonous? Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me. Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Possibly. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about here? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, <laughs> interesting ones, perhaps? That's not it. It's just easygoing here. Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. No, uh. no, that's not it. It's just easy going here the surroundings the job the people maybe you just need a break or maybe this really is what you want but whatever you decide 
think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter <laughs> on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. True, 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 true. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. No. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. Tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <laughs> Thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? <laughs> he likes that. Oh, hey, running hey. out of coins. Gotta go. Bye, Em. Take care. They haven't got like a... Oh, I guess maybe people don't have mobiles yet. Whoa, lag. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. I'll, uh, it's hard to pass up a juicy. Uh, yes. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a. a Coke. Coke. Gotcha, Robert. Coke -Cola. Usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. <laughs> Ashley, get the steaks out. Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? You have a lecture about potatoes? Announce the weather for next Announce week? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Oh. Jack? Really? <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. <laughs> oh well. This is a good week anyhow. Uh must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing oh, steaks. No. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Well, is it the it also cooks open it a bit, though. Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better True. be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Oh, okay. excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. Finally got it's blueberry pie. For stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear, she can give quite the stink eye if she wants. Did I get some? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? Depends on who's on the round. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going back. Uh, yes, probably. I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone mm, reminded me of her. I can imagine that. But. Maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Gentlemen. Meredith, thanks again. Whoa. Well, I'm right. not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. Uh, 
That's nothing. Glad it sorted out just in time. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. Good luck and call me if you need anything. But you're not leaving without a hug. <laughs> Aww. That was day 13 of the Lake Let's Play. I hope you guys are enjoying and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens tomorrow on the final day. Also looking forward to seeing what happens with Robert. Well, there's a lot of uh, choices to make with love interests and where we're going to work, where we're going to live. I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. But until next time, until that final day. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys.